everyone, it's Ani with Chica's Kitchen. Welcome. And right now I'm doing a video on potato roses. Now, what's interesting, first of all, the ingredients are potatoes. I'm doing the mini, muff, uh, mini muffin pan. So I'm only using two potatoes because it's just uh, Hubster and I. Uh, instead of a stick of butter, I'm using half a stick because it's only two small potatoes. And you want to use the small potatoes, you want to make sure your potatoes fit, okay, that they'll fit in the trays. You'll need a bowl to mix your stuff, your potatoes, slices, and butter and seasonings in. And what I wanted to say is, you're going to cut these, slice these thin. So I'm going to use this side of my grater to slice these potatoes thin. And I'm going to slice them right in the bowl. Now, you can do a lot with, the, with this recipe. You can actually use a bigger muffin pan and take strips of bacon and just line it up and put the potato slices, on, lay them on top of overlapping one another, okay, on the bacon. And then you put your seasoning, you can put some cheese, shredded cheese in there, and then you just roll it up and you have a rolls. And you, you pick it up and you take it and just sit it on the muffin pan. Now, uh, this is a mini muffin pan. Not enough room, but you can still do it by taking the bacon and just wrapping it around the liner, uh, the around the, the muffin pan. But um, you do have to grease your muffin pan so nothing sticks. So I'm going to spray mine with butter here in a second. Uh, so there's a lot you can do with it. And um, some people even make it a sweet and sour thing where they'll put the bacon and everything and the potatoes and then they'll go ahead and instead of with cheese they'll put some kind of fruit mostly uh, apples is what they'll do and it's an apple a bacon apple rose potatoes it's delicious trust me the contrast between salt and sweet awesome some people would use a little bit of brown sugar some caramel whatever just get creative whatever to your liking all right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to melt my butter, and we'll proceed with the, I'm going to wash my potatoes, and we'll proceed with the process. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my butter melted. And we're going to go ahead and start grating these potatoes. I think I'm going to grate them on the mat and then put them in the bowl because this is not, that bowl is not strong enough. You want to get sizes about this thick. Now you could peel your potatoes or just use them as is. I like the skin on. what you want. So I, essentially what you're making is little petals. And all those little broken pieces, they serve well for the top. And in between they serve to lift up the potato. Just throw it all in there, don't worry about what 
what you're going to use or not use, just get it done, throw it in there, mix it all up, and then just pick as you create the, the rolls. Pick your best pieces. It doesn't matter if they're not perfectly round, like I said, you're making rose petals. I think I have enough. I'll save these little pieces. potatoes which will be this weekend this weekend I'm going to make a Puerto Rican dish called mondongo but instead of using pork I'm going to use I'm going to use beef and I'm not using beef tripe So now what we do here, is we're going to add whatever spices that you love. Just go ahead and put in a little bit of salt. My adobo. A bit of garlic. A little bit of onion powder. Of course, my favorite seasoning, basil. That's pretty much all I want to add. And then we're going to put in our butter. Okay. I'm going to get a glove. And I'm going to mix all this together. You're also going to need some grated Parmesan cheese. The cheese is it's optional. I'm going to put I'm going to put some in. And you make sure that all your potatoes are coated with the butter. And seasoning. And just gently toss that around. Okay. Now I'm going to get my grated cheese. Oh, wrong door. some of this. You could put whatever cheese you want. I, I like it with uh, Parmesan Romano. 
grated cheese. As you all know, I like the four C's. But Frigo is good too. I use Frigo from time to time too. All right, now the fun begins. You're also going to need some aluminum foil to cover that up. It has to bake for about 45 to 50 minutes. It is potato. Okay, let's switch this around. Let me get a little bit of cleanup going on here. And all right, start laying these puppies down. I only sprayed six. Let's see how many of these potatoes I'll end up with, and then just carefully choreograph the placement of your potatoes. See, the little ones, the little pieces, they serve to lift up the potatoes. And that's what you do. As soon as I get these filled up, I'll bring you back. Maybe I'll show you. That'll bake up into a rose. I'll be back. Okay. There are my roses, my potato roses. They're going in the oven. This last one over here, that's just what was at the bottom of the bowl. It eats too. Probably won't be as pretty as the other roses, but anyway, this is going in for at a 400 degree oven for about 50 minutes. I'm going to put foil over it and pop it in there. I'll bring you back. Okay, you all, there's my rose potatoes. I'm getting ready to plate it. Okay, you all, there it is. Those are my rose potatoes. Nice little cups of potatoes, as you can see. Right. Again, you can wrap the bottom up with bacon and make it your own. Alright, that's it for this video. So the next recipe, take care of yourselves and one another. God bless. Hey, just wanted to show you all. This is what I did with the leftover chicken batter. And that one got away from me a little bit. <laughs> it's still edible. Anyway, there's the roast potatoes, there's the bread, there's the salad, there's hubster eating, there's the chicken, and that's all for now. I think that's enough. The next recipe will be the uh, apple cheese danish, and that'll be after dinner. I'll get up and I'll videotape that, and I'll share that as well.